Hi, in this short video clip, we're going to have a look at how to import a smart notebook file into ProWise Presenter 10. So the first thing I'm going to do is get myself to ProWise Presenter 10. So you can get access from any browser, home or school. Uh, Presenter10.prowise.com is the web address. And um, whilst it's just loading, um, I've got myself in this folder over here. Um, some different smart notebooks. So I'm just going to show you how you can upload one. And um, there's a couple of ways you can do it. And um, now we're actually in ProWise Presenter here. As I've got my little window here with the smart notebooks in, the, the first way I'll show you is you can just drag it from the window and you can see it's now uploading it into smart notebook. So I'll just recap on that. You just need to have the, the um, window open where your smart notebook file is and drag it on. And depending on how big the file is, it will then upload for you. And it's uh, worth remembering, don't forget, oh, how we, sorry, here we go. So if I click choose select all, um, it's going to import 10 pages into this. Um, so it's going from the year four notebook and it's bringing it into my ProWise board. So potentially I could be doing this on a Sunday evening or whenever, saving it to ProWise, and then on a Monday morning when I log into ProWise via the board or the computer, I can access the, um, the board that I've made. So if I look at the pages here, actually, there's a blank page at the start. So I'm just going to uh, put that one in the bin because I don't need that. And then on page two, um, it's brought over, um, oh, this is quite neat actually. It's actually brought some uh, resources I can use and from the white rose. So uh, maybe the idea is that with a pen here, you can actually do the calculation. So I won't do that because I haven't actually got a whiteboard here to write, but ordinarily if, if you're on the board at school, you can be doing your 1000, add, etc., etc. So that was the first way and there's quite a lot of nice screens in here. So that's pretty neat. So I'm going to save it now. If I click on the, um, oh, add a frame. Um, we don't want to do that one, thank you. That's Loom getting in the way. Um, if, when you come to save it, if you click the folder down here, then you can click save. And uh, you can make sure that you save it. Rather than this, if you've got a school area, um, you can save it there, or my class area is where the students can get to. Or if you choose my library, um, this is where all your files are that you can save. So I'm going to choose place here and let's call it uh, maths one. And you have to put a description in, even if it's just one word, maths. And, and then I'm going to click save. Okay, so in reverse, if I uh, just close this uh, notebook, close file, yeah. So when I'm ready to open it, I'm going to click the folder, choose open, and there's my um, smart notebook converted into ProWise, ready for me to doodle all over, and uh, more importantly, get the children doodling, doodling over too. So um, that's the first way. The second way is um, if you click on the folder here, you can actually do it via import. And you've got a choice here when you import, you can um, add it to the current file open it in a new file, or choose save in my files. So I'm going to choose save in my files, just to show you this is slightly different. So now when I browse, I'm going to go and find my um, interactive whiteboard file, which um, is the folder's just down here. Uh, let's see what we've got in here. I've only got one smart notebook here, but this is, I'm just opening the um, smart notebook I'm not sure it looks actually like I'm opening the same one as before, but it's the same process now. It's uploading it to Smart Notebook, but the difference is this time it's saving it to my files. So while it's doing that, I'll just recap. You click the folder down here and you choose Import. And it looks like this is quite a big interactive whiteboard because it's a uh, file, sorry, because it's actually still important now. Here we go. So I can select all, it's actually got 31 pages this one. So let's choose open um, 
and it's now converting it into a file that's compatible with ProWise. So when it's finished, it's saved in my files area. I don't have to do the conversion again, I just do it once and then upload to my files complete. Okay, close. So notice I've still got my old year four presentation open right now. So what I'm going to do instead now is, is go to open and hopefully, here we go, here's the one with 31 slides that's just been uploaded and you can see it's year one to six mixed, it is a different board and oh, we've got money, so we've got lots of different notes and things that we can drag in here uh, and work with. We've got scales, all sorts of nice little tools and uh, even capacity on there, although I don't think it's got a scale on the side, but it could be useful. Let's have a look, no. But um, yeah, so there we go. That's uh, two ways of importing Smart Notebook resources to ProWise. Import, or you can simply just drag a file over into ProWise. Thank you very much for watching.